What is up guys, I am 63Z and I'm here on If My Heart Had Wings. I bought this not too long after I bought Honey Pop. This came out as suggested, so I was like, you know, I'll get this too. It's in, if it's been suggested, I'll, you know, I'll get it. It was only like four bucks, something like that when I bought it, I think it was on sale. All the, this is probably the best rated one out of all the ones that I had actually seen on there. And I decided to download it because I wanted to give it a try out for a video, as well as a couple other games that you'll see soon. And if you watch the seven day vlog that's coming out, should be after this, you will know exactly what games. So we'll get straight into this. Uh, I actually have no idea what to expect with the game because I've not seen anyone play it. I've not played it myself. Um, yeah. But I do have these to snack on while I'm playing. Okay. Hill climb in the middle is hell too. While putting strain on every muscle in your body, you have to continue pedaling without any brakes to climb a steep hill. At that time, I always think, I can't do this anymore. I'll make this race my last. Even though I think that every time in the end, I still take part in the next race. I've endured severe training so that I don't put my feet down halfway through the hill. <coughs> Why do I do that? Because once I finish the hill climb, I'm waiting for my reward. Okay. Ooh, I'm in a bike ride. Nothing compares to the feeling of cutting through the wind as I race down the downhill section at blistering speed. That's actually really fun to do when you're going down a hill on your bike. Whew. At the moment, I feel an incredible rush. Then I realize that I have forgotten about everything. Pain of the hill climb, the strain on every muscle in my body, and the days of hard practice. It's not a matter of whether I win or lose the race. Of course it fucking is. I just enjoy it and that's why I continue to ride. That's how I should have been. That's how it should have been. Um, also, this will be, um, if I do continue to do it, if it has some kind of traction with the fact that I like it, I'll actually do a full playthrough of it. So it's not just going to be like a best moments, it's going to be all the storyline in it and just any parts where I'm just like confused or not playing and I'm like checking something or something like that will be cut out. So it'll be the whole storyline as best as I can if I actually like the game. Uh, but yeah. I just still don't have much life experience at the time and it was something beyond my imagination. Suddenly, without warning, something was taken from me. I could also say shut away or locked. However, to directly express the emotion I felt at that time, taken is the word that fits best. So there was one thing that I learned. Life isn't all about having fun. I gained a lesson in life. The thing I lost was everything. I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have thought about it a little more. If something could have been taken, from me so abruptly and something could have been given to me just as suddenly. That is a good way to look at it. If something can be taken so unexpectedly and just like, bam, it's gone, then it's just as logical to think that something can be given to you and just, bam, it's there. The wind blew. A gentle but strong wind, it would not be unreasonable to call it an encounter. Shut up. <laughs> this could be the start of something new. Even now, there's some, there's still no way for me to know. The windmill is turning. People are overwhelmed just because of the size of such an enormous thing. The unnatural silhouette serves a function, but to those who don't know what that is, it would appear to be something very bizarre. I like the music in this though at the moment. It's pretty good at the moment. It's kind of cool cinematics. With so many lined up like this, it could have been said to be even more overwhelming. But why is that? The sight of the white windmill lined up on the green hills somehow seems so picturesque. This is amazing. To think that something like this could be made. That at, at the very least, five years ago, there was nothing here. Just a wide open space. I heard they were going to build a large scale renewable energy research facility. The cell phone in my pocket vibrated to tell me I had received a text, like mine has. It's from Anchan. Anchan. To Oi. Did you arrive here already? Sorry I couldn't come to meet you. My name is written using a Chinese character read as Oi. It's a difficult character and is often mistaken for Midori. That's a good alcohol. Incidentally, whether it is Oi or Midori, it is often mistaken for a girl's name which causes a few problems. Ah, oh, this is a guy. I'll quickly write a reply. 
I hardly ever use this. I hardly ever use text, so I find the key touch awkward to use. I got here a little too early, so I'm just going for a stroll. The windmills are amazing. Okay, set. The reply came quickly. They're great, aren't they? It's the new famous spot of Kazugabia. If you have any problems, contact me anytime. Anchan. Thank you, Anchan. But when am I going to actually start playing? As I said the text, I sat down on the grass. This place is on the hillside. So from there, I was able to gaze at the lake and the town that stretches across the opposite bank. The rapid redevelopment of the town of Kazugura meant that the remnants of the old buildings from the Showa era are intermingled with the modern architecture. Don't judge my faces while I'm reading, okay? I, I read weird. I just want to get into more than just reading though. If this is all it's going to be just reading, it's going to be really annoying. <clears throat> the view expresses both the past and the future at the same time. Paint plane! Something white flitted across my field of vision. For a moment, it looked like one of the windmill blades had come flying off. But there was no way, but there was no way that could happen. Oh my god, stop doing that. It's a paper airplane! Gosh. Haven't seen a paper airplane before. I wonder what this would look like with the game mode on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's bright! I'm so fucking white, holy shit. Okay, game mode off. I'm kind of normal again. I got up and headed down the slope to look for it. The paper airplane, gliding gently, eventually lost its momentum and descended. Gotcha! I ran ahead of it, did a small jump, and caught it in midair. Good shit. Where did this come flying from? Judging by direction, it had to come from the top of the hill. No shit. At a time and place like this, could there be someone here beside me? Okay, can I play now? I took the paper airplane with me as I climbed up the slope. Just as I was able to see the top, Despite the fact that these graphics aren't the best, it's still really stunning. A sudden gust of strong wind blew the paper airplane out of my hand. Aye! Hey, wait! I chased after the paper airplane and ran up the slope. If my heart had wings. In Asian symbols. Then just as I finally caught it, let me guess it's your friend that motherfucking popped up. Cause that wouldn't be surprising. Someone in a wheelchair? Oh, okay. That's a really bad ass wheelchair. There's someone on the top of the hill. It was a girl sitting in a wheelchair. No shit. We can fleeting into the distant sky. The sudden breeze blew her hair and she combed it back with her fingers. Against the background of the blue sky and windmills that spread across my view, the girl's black hair and white blouse looked incredible. Perv. It was as if I was looking... Blah, 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 spit on the screen. It is... It was as if I was looking at a complete work of art. The girl noticed me. Uh, um... At first I thought it, it I should make an excuse for why I was there. It was like I had stepped into her world without permission, and I started to feel guilty. She's not saying anything. Some guy had just suddenly appeared, so perhaps she's being cautious. To show her the reason why I came here, I held out the paper airplane. Did you throw this? That sounded weird. The moment she saw it, her facial expressions stiffened. She looks like she's welling up. Suddenly, tears appeared in those delicate eyes. Huh? What? The tears that had welled up in the eyes, in the corner of her eyes, came running straight down. So it got to you. As I watched, great big tears come rolling down her cheeks. Huh? Ah, uh, hey! Without thinking, I walked up beside her. What's wrong? Do you hurt someone? Shake's head. As she looked shook her head she touched the hand that I had unconsciously held out as if she were clinging to it. 
Her hand was small and trembling. I was scared. Squeeze. She gently squeezed my hand. It's okay now. I didn't even know what the situation was. However, as I answered, I squeezed her hand back. The fuck is happening? A chicken went quack quack in an Asian girl sound. Peck, peck, peck. Ow, ouch. Before I knew it, there was something like a chicken at my feet. And all of a sudden, it started pecking me. My chicken friend. You go, boy. You go, boy. Johnny the chicken. That's his name. Johnny. Go, Johnny. Johnny went peck, peck, peck. Ow, that hurts. What is this thing? His name's Johnny. Pat, as it was called, calmed down at her command. No, the duck's name is Johnny, not Hat. Um, is it a duck with a yellow beak and white feathers? It was a duck that looked like a chicken. For some reason, it was wearing a hat. This is how surprising it is to be suddenly attacked by an animal. However, thanks to that, it looked like she had stopped crying. Is a towel okay? I don't carry a handkerchief around me. As I said that, without waiting for her to reply, I took a hand towel out of my bag. Of course, it had been washed, so it was clean. Then what, motherfucker? I'm sick of reading! A chair. I had lost it. It, it had lost its hair and had collapsed. You got a flat tire. I'm not going to read anymore. If you want to read it, you can just pause it on the fucking spot. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. She doesn't want to be embraced from the front. He embraced her. Oh, he's a cute little boy, isn't he? What is this chick's name? Johnny was pecking the soil, I know. Okay, come on, give me something. <sighs> My housemates. He's ha he's your housemate? Yeah, housemates? Johnny went quack.
No, I don't walk around with those fucking kind of tools. You're fucking serious? That's fucking weird sounding. Come on. It's a plane. For what? Come on! Oh my god, can I fucking know what the fuck's going on and have some kind of control? Get it's a setting up some kind of a story between the boy and the girl, but come on. Extend the wings which fly in the sky highly. I have a feeling this is a very story driven game. Come on. Ah. literally just hold my mouse right here as I click to like get the rest of the story. I don't even need to like do any actions. That's how story based this is right now. I'm just gonna chill here. My stomach keeps growling. Let's get full of it. Lightly dressed girl. Oh, a visitor. Oh, great close-up game.
Suddenly a girl in her underwear appeared before me and the expression that I had tried so hard to straighten out crumbled instantly. May I ask your name? I am, uh, why? She's the one who should be worried about having been seen by, but why am I the one feeling under pressure? Why don't, we don't accept door-to-door -door sales. What's up, Kana-chan? Um, looks like we have a visitor. A visitor? Huh? What? A guy? From inside, the other girl, this was... This one was wearing clothes. I showed her face, but when she saw me, she let out a hysteric scream. Is this a girl's dormitory that he's staying in? At the same time, the glasses she was wearing looked like they were about to slip off. I don't want no. Can I chant your clothes? Your clothes. Hmm? What is it? Another girl appeared. Oh, Yuka. The this unknown boy saw Kana Chan's naked body. What did you say? Huh? What? Huh? No, no, that's not it. Just like a god of s salvation. My cell phone ring. The word, the word mum has shown on the display. Excuse me a minute. This is weird. I quickly pressed the button to answer the call while swiftly escaping outside. Hold up. This is really weird and weeding me out. Like, it really is this, this game. It's just really weeding me out. Like, would this not, would this game not weird you out too? Okay, this is kind of okay. It's not that good, but you know, it's kind of okay. I need to hold the fuck up. This song though. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, back to the game. Oh. Thing. I quickly, but quickly press the button to answer the call while swiftly escaping outside. Mom, I thought you'd be not flying for Manor and that things would have calmed down by now. What's it like? Well, the place is full of girls, and I saw one in her underwear. Of course it is. That place, yeah. I checked the sign over and over. But then I noticed some small writing in the corner. Girls dormitory. This is I knew it was a girls dormitory. Motherfucker, there would not be that many girls in their underwear. From now on, I'm going to be this place's dorm mother, aren't I? It's fine. The owner and the boarding students have all accepted it. Wait, I'm playing the character of the girls' dormitory's boarding mother? I am a guy being a girls' dormitory's dormitory mum. What? Okay, I want to know more of this story, fucking oath. Jesus. It's like something out of a fucking porno. Just now, they were screaming at the top of their lungs. No fucking shit, there's another guy. They're probably all fucking horny lesbians. Oh, did you go into the changing room by mistake? That damn mother of mine, she's enjoying this situation. Of course she would, it'd be hilarious to be the mom in this situation. Freak. This, this music. Whew, okay, never mind. Whew. Front door opened slightly and the girls from just now were peeking through. What's happening, Santa Chan? He he's still here. Ah, um <sighs> When I called out to them like a surprised turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. What should I about this? Great English game, what should I do about this?
Well, this is the situation. Right, so you're, okay, she's got more clothes on now. And watched at me. This is no good, is it? A boy being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory. That's alright. Isn't it? From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were pretty gaudy. Where some girls who looked like they were hiding, but they were nodding and agreeing. What? If nobody comes here, that will be a bigger problem. Yes, that's right. But I just thought it would be someone older. Fearful looking at- yeah. Incidentally, there is now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age or maybe a year younger than me. Stare. What, what is this? Did you say your name was Oi? How old are you? Um, I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to Kepu Academy. I'm in the second grade. What do you mean, hee hee? The person who came to, sp to speak to all of you is my mother and, well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting the job as a dorm mother. My mum has a job can has a job connected to the real estate and her company manages this property. Well then, what should we do? Should we change? If that's the situation, person who seemed the oldest said so and the other people reluctantly nodded in agreement this is just until the owner caretaker comes back or we find someone else I apologize for the inconvenience but for the time being let's all try to get along once the conversation was over naturally everyone left and went back to their rooms Everyone can be so childish and they got carried away in front of a young guy like you. Okay, Kanako. Okay. If you need anything, please ask me. The caretaker's room is at the end of the corridor on the first floor. Thank you very much. Why is that all of the boarding students? There's the underwear girl and Kanako who is with me now. Wait, wait. That's four people all together. There is one more person, but she's what you might call the reclusive type. I wonder if she'll come out of her room at some point. Oh. In other words, there are five boarders in total. This building is pretty big, but there are only five people living here. Come to think of it, my mum did say that there are quite a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from the school, so maybe it's not that popular. Ooh, I worked up a sweat, so I'm going to take up another bath. Anyway, conversation ended. Well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. What? So then, we somehow managed to work things out. Really, that's good. I'll tell you this now, though. Keep your hands off the girls. No shit. Well, what are you talking about, Mum? Well, as long as it doesn't cause any problems, it's okay. Oh, and also... I told you before, but one of them has a walking disability. Oh, the other girl! That's the reclusive type. Flap, flap, flap. Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings. Oh, Johnny's back. Suddenly, the sound of reclusive man came from down the hallway. Then a shrill voice sounded out. Wait. Hat. Wait. Johnny? Quack, quack. Huh? Something a bit big and white came flying down the hallway and from behind at a breakneck speed. Music's back! Was the girl in the wheelchair? Wait, you stupid duck! Give me my panties back! Okay, skip that one. Quack, 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 quack. 
The big white thing, which somehow seemed like a duck, was flapping its wings and flew behind me. The girl in the wheelchair avoided all the obstacles in her path. In other words, me and chased down the duck like a drifted racer. Like a drift racer. I was so overwhelmed by the speed that I couldn't say anything. I didn't do anything. Crap, crap, Johnny, Johnny. So the girl in the wheelchair caught the duck at my feet and snatched away a small white claw, possibly underwear, from his beak. Jeez. You're always playing tricks. If you do it again, I'll turn you into Peking Duck. Quack. The girl put the duck on her knee and lectured him. I remembered seeing that before. However, it's somehow a lot different to the image she had during the day. In the daytime, she seemed more dainty and delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not often that you see such a pretty girl. Looks like your tire is in good condition. She finally realized there was a guy standing there. Why are you... She goes as far as saying that, but then realized that she has the small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it, stuffing it under her backside. Why are you here? Katori-chan. Kanako, who was supposed to be having a bath, poked her head out. Yes! Hey look! Hey! Look! Is what I felt like she was saying. She relentlessly pointed at me. We already had this conversation a long time ago. <laughs> the girl known as Katori glared at Kanako like she was interfering. I'm the new dorm mother, Ayo Manasi. I'm Katori Habani. Katori seemed to meet my introduction with reluctance. Johnny went quack. This is Hat, but you know that already. Johnny went quack. Hat turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. Are you really the new dorm mother? Yes, that's right. So you are against it? If she says she doesn't like the fact the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory is a guy, or the fact that we're the same age, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm no shit. Closes her eyes and quietly takes a deep breath as if trying to focus her mind. Katori, forget about what happened during the day. During the day, which part? As much as possible. That's right, if I had to say. She stopped talking and stared at Kanako, who was standing behind listening. Kanako looked as if she was saying okay, okay, as she disappeared down the hallway. But I made a careless mistake and that I started crying. Oh. Yes, I know the face. That incident was quite startling and I remember it well. To see a girl tears from so close like it's something I don't experience very often. I don't know what she thinks about it, but those tears were very beautiful. Have you forgotten it? Huh? No, not yet. Forget about it, right now. Don't be so silly. When you say it like that, it just makes it even more strongly engraved in my memory. Sniff. Look like... You're new. Look, you're new here, so you don't know. Even like this, I... She straightened back her head, straightened her back, composed her expression and smiled. And swish, with a natural gesture, she lifted her hair up. Don't you feel my cool allure? Aluli? What's alulu? Aluli.
and then straighten her back and compose her smile again. And okay, that's enough. I get it. All right. Grrr. Jeez, you're such a jerk, nitpicker, low life. I had a dream about someone that exact moment just then. Me reading that out. Okay, this is destiny then. Shuri just <laughs> about every insult there is. Then turned her wheelchair around. Then she hurried, raced back down the hallway and back into her room. Johnny went quack. Along the way, Hat, who had been thrown off, chased her and entered the room through a small door, maybe a special door for ducks, built into the bottom of the main door. I looked on in disbelief. I don't need to say this, but the dainty and delicate image that she had in the daytime had completely crumbled away. A delicate bud was beginning to sprout, and we shared a fleeting love. But... Calm the fuck on, give me a spot to stop. Cool allure, right? When I remembered, when I remember lifting her hair, being so full of confidence, I felt like I could have burst out laughing. She's so funny. From the beginning, everything has been so messed up. From tomorrow, it looks like things will start getting interesting. I really felt that prediction would come true. Extend the wings which fly in the sky highly. Calm down. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the end of the second chapter or something like that. So. Oh! Come on, wait. Save. Save, okay. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I don't know how well that's gonna turn up. I don't know how much of that footage I'm going to be able to use, but that's a nice little screen to end it on. Jesus. Okay. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. That was If My Heart Has Wings, or If My Heart Had Wings. Uh, that is. This seems to be like a very story-driven game, uh, and it could be just long episodes. I don't, I'm kind of interested in the story. I kind of want to see where it goes. Uh, I'll still upload it to the channel and record it as I play it. But it probably won't be something that will be a priority kind of thing. I don't know if I'll just play it for like a couple of hours straight and then just edit it all down and then just upload it as that. Or if I'll do it like I did this because I played for about 47 minutes. Probably edit it down to maybe 35, maybe something like that. I'm not too sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of this, comment it down below. If you want to see any other games and you have any suggestions, leave that in the comment section too. Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike, and tell me why you dislike, because I want feedback. I want feedback. Watch any other vlogs, any other games, or anything else that I've done on the channel. I am 63Z, and I'll see you all in the next video. Run, 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 run. Uh, no! No! <laughs> I haven't won a single oh, one. No. No. no! no, no, no. Okay, don't stop. Don't stop. That was such a weird game. Holy crap. I can't all play more though. Now, I'm going to do another video. The next video is going to be...